Hi, hello. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to talk about AHP or analytical hier hierarchy process by using both Excel and the super decision application. Let's just jump to the example I'm gonna do. Here I'm gonna talk about how how to choose an ideal car for uh, changing your current car to a new car or a second hand car. First we're gonna add some clusters by clicking this plus button and we're gonna put the first one as a goal and then there's a criteria the criteria the sub criteria would be the benefit and this, the other sub criteria would be uh, the cost and the last one would be the alternatives inside of each cluster I'm gonna add some notes Con uh, concerning about the real goal which is the goal would be the ideal car And then the criteria, we've got both benefit and the cost. So we're going to put benefit and cost notes into the criteria. Uh, inside the benefit clusters, we can add the prestige level of car. And then the comfort of a car, of the car, and the aesthetic value of the car as for the cost we can add first the acquisition cost and then the maintenance cost also the fuel consumption eh, where in Indonesia we're going to use the kilometer per liter I've got some alternatives here. First is the BMW 330i M Sport Edition of the year 2017. And the second one is a Mercedes Benz. E Class Code 200, the year of 2015. And the last one, I've got a Toyota FT86, the year of 2017. After we've made all of this, we're going to make the connections between clusters and between the nodes by clicking the nodes and make or show connection. Oh, first we need to make sure the... Oh, wait, that's later. Uh, okay, so we're going to make the connections by clicking the... I the node and then make or show connections and then we choose the parent node which is the ideal car and to the child cluster which is the criteria and we're gonna click here and here and click outside of them to make sure both of them are click and then we're just gonna choose the benefit we're good and the benefits are gonna go to the benefit clusters which has the aesthetic comfort and the prestige and then the cost, which is going to go to the cost, which says acquisition cost, fuel consumption, and maintenance cost. Next is the benefit sub criteria. We're going to connect it to the alternatives, which is the BMW, Mercedes Benz, and the Toyota. And click it up, click the outside again. And we're going to do it to all the nodes between the benefits and the cost. Okay, I'm done. Now let's check for the connections. Here is how we're going to check the connections by using the make or show connections here. And then we choose this. 
as we can see the ideal car the black box is the initial one and the red box are the destination the ideal car goes to the criteria and the benefits goes to the benefits the cost goes to the pen goes to the cost and each of the nodes in both benefits and cost goes to the alternatives okay next we're gonna do the judgment from the judgment we're, we're gonna start from the sub criteria because we cannot because between the benefits and the cost uh, of an ideal car we still need to do an analysis later on and for the benefits versus the cost clusters we do it later on after we finish the sub criteria of its benefits and the cost first we got the aesthetic the aesthetic we do the questionnaire because uh, it's different different preference to other people so in my opinion i've got for for the bmw versus the mercedes-benz because for me i like that personally i like the bmw because it's more sporty and then the bmw versus the toyota i choose the toyota and then the mercedes and versus the mercedes mercedes and the toyota i choose the toyota next we're gonna go to the comfort the comfort of between the BMW and the Mercedes-Benz I'd say the BMW is more comfortable and then the BMW versus the Toyota the BMW will be more comfortable and the Mercedes-Benz versus the Toyota the Mercedes-Benz wins next is the prestige level of, of the car the BMW and the Mercedes-Benz are both prestigious car both one is sporty, one is classy, so it's quite in the middle. The BMW versus the Toyota, which is the BMW, and the Mercedes-Benz versus the Toyota, which is the Mercedes-Benz. Next, we're going to go to the cost. First is the acquisition cost. We got the Mercedes-Benz versus the BMW. We go to the BMW. And then the BMW versus the Toyota, we go to the. Wait. I'm sorry. The, the first one will go to the Mercedes Benz, and then the second one to the BMW, and the last one goes to the Mercedes Benz. Next is the kilometer per liter, the fuel consumption. We, uh, we can use the direct because we can get the. Real, real world data from what I searched I got the BMW fuel consumption would be 10.8 kilometers per liter and then the Mercedes Benz I got the 9.8 and the last one the Toyota I've got 10.2 kilometers per liter and the last cost would be the maintenance cost which goes to the questionnaire again uh, the BMW would be slightly cheaper than the Mercedes-Benz I think because I've been to the Mercedes-Benz and the uh, maintenance cost is quite expensive there and then the BMW versus the Toyota 86 it goes to here Oh wait, uh, it's supposed to be like this because I'm searching for a cheaper and then it's cost. And then the Mercedes-Benz versus the Toyota 86. The Mercedes Toyota is way more cheaper than Mercedes-Benz. Okay, next is the benefit clusters. 
uh, here we can change to the preference uh, aesthetics and the comfort I prefer the comfort of course here and then the aesthetic versus the prestige I choose the prestige no no, no. aesthetic because I said I can modify the car and the comfort versus this I choose the comfort um here we got some problem here ah here it's of the judgment needs to be it it's be consistent means that the inconsistency ratio here of each node needs to be under the under than 0.1 which is under the inconsistency needs to be under 10% here we got 0 0.09 means that we got 9% of inconsistency and it's good enough and then we check the complete comparison and the cost we do the acquisition, acquisition cost or the kilometer per liter I choose the kilometer per liter because I'll be paying it every, every time I gas up the car acquisition cost versus the maintenance cost the maintenance cost and the kilometer per liter here okay that's complete the comparison and we go to all the notes and complete the comparisons too Okay. Next, we're gonna check the sanity check whether if there's any error. Oh, there's an error here. Uh, that would be this ideal car. Yes. And let's check again the sanity check. And next, we're gonna synthesize and see the end result from the judgment and we can see here the first ra rating would be the Mercedes-Benz which has the 40% of ratings and the second one goes to the Toyota and the third one goes to BMW and now we're gonna calculate the benefit or cost ratio to see where if the chosen ratings priorities would uh, have a bigger benefit or bigger cost and how do we do that by using the priorities here control P and we got here and let's see we got the full report here how do we do it we go to we're going to copy the values and we're going to the Excel. Here we're going to just paste it. Okay. And then we're, we're going to separate the benefit and the cost. Like this. The benefit we've got the prestige comfort and aesthetic we're gonna go this and transpose it to this the value to transpose again and the cost we've got the acquisition cost maintenance cost and the fuel consumption transpose base and so the values copy and paste transpose done and we've got two alternatives which is the BMW Mercedes-Benz and the Toyota we're gonna paste it here done next we're gonna 
take each of the value of each node which is here uh, the results that one we're gonna copy the clipboard and paste it here and we take the normalized of the that would be the aesthetic that goes here next is the comfort the comfort copy clipboard and this there and then did it is the can and the last benefit is the prestige complete copy the clipboard paste and take the values again and paste it uh, also we are need to check the consistency of the priorities here not the priorities the order here from here we got the bmw mercedes and the toyota and from the app the support decision also needs to be the same order the bmw mercedes and the toyota as for the cost we can do the same as the, as the benefits First is the acquisition cost. Acquisition cost, copy to clipboard, paste it, take the values, copy it, and paste. And then next is the fuel consumption. Copy to clipboard, paste, and take the values again. Next is the last one, the maintenance cost, copy to clipboard, and the values again. There. How do we do the benefit uh, per cost ratio is by doing this to we do some product to the value here. Value here, track it down and do the same here. Some product, oops, some product, oops, with this, with this, and you track it down again. The benefit per cost ratio is by dividing the benefit to the cost. Okay. Benefit per cost done and check it out. Here we got the priorities. Uh, so the first priority for the benefit of the cost is the Mercedes-Benz. We see that the Mercedes has more benefits than the cost, so it would be our first priority. And the second priority would be our BMW, and the third one is our the Toyota. Therefore, the decision we can make based on this analysis is by choosing the Mercedes-Benz. Thank you.